Let's start with Dave Woods from Bruin Report. Hey Kyle, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Doing pretty well. Um, with uh, so much experience returning, uh, what's the feeling in the locker room regarding the offense's potential this year? Uh, I feel like we can be one of the best offense in the country. Um, you know, we lost Demetri Felton last year, but uh, Britton Brown is taking over right now. And then we have a deep running back room with Zach Charbonnet coming in. And, you know, we got a lot of receivers with experience. We got a couple of new guys that have been stepping up, playing well. Uh, Dorian, he's been playing phenomenal all camp, all spring ball, I, I feel like we can be a, a really good offense. And even with that, I know the mantra is always going to be continued improvement. Um, what are the areas of focus for specifically improving this passing attack and also just your specific goals for improvement? Um, you know, just we just harp on the small details, whether it's alignment, uh, steps in the route, just every small detail. We each day want to stack it on top of each on to the stack it on top of the next and, you know, just get better each day. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Yep. Tukney, LA Times. Hey, Kyle, speaking to that experience, you guys have waited a long time to get to this kind of period where you have experience, you have games under your belt. How does that kind of show up in practice already? It's been three days now. How does practice feel now with all of these experienced guys around you compared to two years ago, three years ago, when you guys were first starting to build this thing? Uh, I would say our practice is more of a, a player-led practice, you know, um, it's not the coaches who have to get on us about, you know, the small details. It's, you know, the leaders on the team, the guys that have been here a while who are kind of taking charge, you know, getting everything running the way it's supposed to be ran. Who are some of those young guys that you have seen kind of stepping up so far? Um, Kay Lou on, on the receivers, Keontes, he, he, he's been balling. Um, Zach Charbonnet, he's not young, but it's, it's his first year here. He's He's been absolutely killing it all camp and you know honestly all, all, all the young guys they came in and you know they got adjusted to how we work and they just hasn't been a hiccup in any of it that's been doing great thanks yep tony last word hey kyle so when you talk about a player-led team and some of the guys last week in media days talked about that also who are the guys who are leading i mean obviously it can't be every senior yeah. Um, and different people handle it different ways. Who are the guys who are out there leading? Yeah, so we have uh, our squad leader. So it starts with uh, workout groups, and uh, in each workout group, they have a thing where they get voted, and from there, that's the squad leader for that group. And uh, so we all have a group chat, and, and uh, some of the guys in that are, you know, Q Knight, Dorian, Sean Ryan, Otito, uh, myself, Chase Coda. And, you know, there, there, there's a bunch more, uh, Bo Calver. I can't name them all, but those are the guys that are really taking control and really just being the leaders and getting everything running right. Where does that show up more? Does it show up more on the field with you guys holding each other responsible for, for schemes and for, for what's happening on the field? Or does it show up more off the field in locker room uh, with the players? Uh, it shows up all over the place, but I will say uh, probably more off the field because, you know, um, Coach Kelly saying is like how, how you do the small things is how you do all things. So it's things like, you know, in the locker room, if a guy's not picking up after himself, you know, we'll take care of it or lockers are left open, small things like that. And just, you know, just making the right decisions outside the facilities. So you would say it's about the discipline off the field. Yeah, all of it together. But that's that's probably the biggest one. OK, that's great. Thanks. Um, yep. Sam Conan, SI. Hey, Kyle. So you got Jerry Neuheisel has been on the job for a couple months now. It seems like when he's out there, he's really bringing like, the energy of, of a younger coach, uh, younger than a lot of the guys on the staff. What's that like working with him closely, knowing that it, he hasn't really been out of the game for that long? Uh, it, it's awesome. Like you said, he brings a lot of energy. So, you know, once we're in the meetings with him in the morning, it's, he's fired up, getting us ready to go. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's been in our shoes before. He played at UCLA. He kind of knows knows how it is around here. It's awesome. And then uh, even before he got the job as the wide receiver coach, uh, we worked with him, you know, when we played Washington State and came back. He was on the sideline with us, just giving us tips, helping us out. So, you know, he already came in having a great relationship with all of us, and he just knows how to work with us really well. And, it's you know, he's a great coach. And then it hasn't been that long since spring ball. I know you were a little dinged up at the end of spring, but how are you feeling, and does it – like okay to have a kind of a short break between spring ball fall ball what are your thoughts on that and how are you feeling 
Oh yeah, I, I'm 100% healthy. I, I feel uh, feel amazing. You know, I feel more explosive. I'm bigger, faster, stronger, and just excited to be playing football. Great, thanks, Kyle. Yep. All right, any final questions for Kyle? Great, thanks for your time, Kyle. Yep, thank you, have a good one. We'll have Matt Sykes coming up next. All right, let's open up questions from Matt Sykes. We'll start with Dave Woods. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. Um, so uh, just heading into, you know, year two, what's your comfort level in the offense now? Um, year two, definitely a big jump from year one. Um, getting a spring ball under my belt, uh, having Jerry there to really mentor me and having the older guys like Chase and Kyle I'm feeling more comfortable each and every day, especially in fall camp. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this year. Um, how did a uh, kind of off season strength and conditioning? I know that's a big goal for especially guys making that jump up to the year two. Did you have specific goals? What were those? Um, and just how did everything go? I think it went real well. I think my main goal coming in was to get faster and coach KB helped me with that. Um, like Kyle said, um, we had player led workouts and just Every day we came out here and knew that we had a job to just get better and really prove that we could be a top team in the Pac-12. So I think the off-season workouts went well for not only me, but the whole team. And what are your uh, just kind of personal goals for this season? Um, expanded role or is it more internal? What's What are your goals for the season? My goal is just to help the offense move the ball, you know, whether that's blocking, whether that's getting short yardage gains or taking the top off. Um, I just want to be a well-rounded guy and just help my team in any way possible. All right. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Yeah. Tukney, go ahead. Hey, Matt. Good to see you. you. You mentioned that you're feeling faster now. Do you have, like, a number on that? Do you guys time that? How fast are you right now? Um, we have catapult numbers where it measures our speeds. But, you know, I don't know the exact number, but I definitely do feel faster and stronger. Mm -hmm. Speaking to – to um, Kyle and Chase's leaders, how would you kind of describe their leadership style and how they kind of set the tone for this receivers group? I think they just lead by example. Um, ever since I came in last year, they've just taken me under the wings and even the other young guys. And every day at practice, they just show how you're supposed to play, finishing each play, tucking the ball, doing all the small things that it takes to be great as a receiver. Thanks. Yeah. Sam, go ahead. Hey, Matt. So uh, you're obviously one of the, the bigger receivers on the team. So would you say that you're trying more to specialize as like an outside deep threat guy? Or do you think that you can kind of uh, expand your game and be more a jack of all trades, even despite having that kind of size? I think you're right. I think I want to be that jack of all trades. But I'm just going to do whatever Coach Kelly wants me to do, whether that's helping the block, whether that's getting short yardage gains. Um, or even just taking the top off. But that's what we're working on every day in fall camp, so I'm excited. And, and then in the spring, you were one of the guys who, with, with a lot of guys missing, kept stepping up and, and moving up with, with the twos and the ones and getting more reps. Do you feel like there's momentum that's carried over from that? Like you personally, whether it's like how, how you're feeling or your role uh, with, the, with the quarterbacks, with the offense is kind of carried over from spring ball? Yeah, definitely. Um, with all those guys down in spring ball, I got a ton of reps. So it's just been mental repetition and just experience, like you said. So, yeah, I'm definitely more comfortable. All right. Thanks, Matt. Yep. All right. Any last questions for uh, Matt? Okay, great. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks for your time, Matt. Thank you.